Hi, I'm Karen, here to say welcome to Blue Canoe. I'd like to spend a few minutes with you to help you get the most out of Blue Canoe as you use it each day. So, we know that English pronunciation is challenging. That's because spelling is often misleading, but also because the stressed rhythm of English is unique and might be new to you. Our brains prevent us from noticing that rhythm and what's important in English pronunciation. So today I'll be teaching you some strategies so that you can improve your rhythm and your overall pronunciation. The color vowel system that you see behind me is a proven method. It has brain-based strategies that actually rewire your brain to speak English more clearly. The stress and vowel sounds receive a high priority in our method because that's how English works. We have over 20 years of development with over a million users, so you're in good hands. Blue Canoe is an app that you'll use 10 minutes per day, not just with it in your hand, but with your other hand as well. Why? We use voice recognition with artificial intelligence that will help give you useful feedback. We use pronunciation games and lessons and videos to keep you engaged. And with the strategies that I'll be teaching you, you'll build new brain pathways with these color vowel strategies. So let's look at those a little more closely. Now, everyone has an accent. I have an accent, you have an accent. Your accent is a result of where you're from and what you do and the people that you speak with. But what we do with Blue Canoe, rather than eliminating accent, is we build bridges by giving you more information about how you can speak to create mutual understanding. We call this mutual comprehensibility. So what is pronunciation and what is the best way to improve? There's a common myth out there that pronunciation means saying each syllable as clearly as possible, and that's simply not true. The fact is that the rhythm of English is more important than the individual sounds. Even that phrase, the rhythm of English is more important than the individual sounds, has its own rhythm. The second myth is that the best way to improve is by listening and repeating. And of course we're going to listen and repeat, but the fact is that there's much more to it than that. We need to use more than our listening brain and our speaking brain. We're going to teach you today how to use your whole brain. Now, spoken English revolves around stress, so that's what we do in Blue Canoe. We teach you the rhythm of English. I'm going to take that third sentence there. We teach you the rhythm of English and I'd like you to join me. We're going to say it several times, ready? We teach you the rhythm of English. 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 Now, what are these symbols? Here you see green T-E is the green symbol for the word teach. The sound in teach matches the sound in green and tea, and so we use this image to cue you as to what color a word is. Silver pin I is the sound in rhythm. It's the same sound in English, even though the spellings are different. So these icons can start to guide you to pronounce words correctly the first time. The color vowel chart is a way to visualize all of the vowel sounds of English. Let me introduce you to the most common sounds. Green T E, silver pin I, gray day A, red pepper E, eh. white tie I, black cat A, eh. olive sock A, ah. a cup of mustard A. Uh purple shirt, er. As you can see, we have several more that fill out the entire spectrum of vowel sounds in English. They, there are more sounds in English than in many other languages. And so by having an icon or an image that symbolizes that sound, you can start to learn them one by one. So with Blue Canoe, we take those images and put them right there into the palm of your hand to guide you 
so that every word and every sentence has a color or a place on the vowel chart. Every word, eh, every, red, pepper, every, word. What color is word? Word, purple shirt, word, has, has, black cat, has, a place, place, gray day, place, on the color, color, mustard, color, a cup of mustard color. Vowel, can you hear vowel? Vowel, vowel, brown cow, vowel, and chart, chart, olive sock, chart. Every word has a place on the color vowel chart. Blue Canoe will teach you three secrets to English using this idea of every color on the chart representing a sound and every sound having a place on the chart. Spelling is not pronunciation. So what color are each of these words? You'll notice that they look very similar in their vowel letters. That E-A spelling pattern in eat, great, and bread all look the same, but they sound different. So eat, eat. Maybe you're noticing it's the same sound in teach and green and tea. So this is a green tea word. Try that. Green tea each. Good. Now great has the same ea, but it sounds different. Great, great, gray day, great. And bread is a third sound that's different from eat and great. Bread, bread, eh, 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 red pepper, bread. You can see how color vowels start to make a distinction between what you hear as different from what you see. In Blue Canoe, you can look up any word of English to know where the stress is and what color vowel it has. Stress is the key to being understood. Photograph, photographer, photographic. These words all look the same, but they actually sound quite different and there's no written indication of where the stress is. So there's a big question here for learners. How can you know where the stress is? Well, what we do with the color vowel system and Blue Canoe is we underline the stressed vowel sound so that you are practicing it correctly the first time. Photograph has stress on the first syllable. Photograph, rose, boat, photograph. Photographer has stress on the second syllable, photographer. And it has to be said like this, because if you say photographer, it won't be understood very easily by your listener. So we say photographer, photographer, olive, sock, photographer. Now that third word looks a lot the same as the second, different suffix at the end, but the stress will move yet again. Do you know where it is? It's not photographic and it's not photographic, it's photographic, photographic, black cat photographic, yeah? So stressing the correct syllable is more important than producing each sound correctly. If that's surprising to you, that's okay. Many people are, are excited and surprised by this idea, but when we use the hand, we're actually training your brain to use stress in the right place. Stress is the key to being understood. Try that with me two more times, ready? Stress is the key to being understood. Stress is the key to being understood. Great. So the language center of your brain actually can stop you from noticing new sounds and rhythms, but with the kind of repetition that we just did, you can actually activate the musical brain. And here's what that looks like. See, the language center of your brain is locked. It was very active when you were a child, learning your first language, your first languages. It took in all of the sounds of your environment and it made sense of those into a system. And once you learned your language, that center then closed down and locked its doors right about the end of adolescence. So as an adult, when we just listen and repeat and study with our eyes, we're often left with the feeling that we're not good at this. 
but in fact, you can be a very good language learner and a very good learner of pronunciation if you engage these other parts of your brain. So we use kinesthetic learning with our bodies, especially this technique called the open hand. The open hand is actually more than opening the hand. It's an extension of the arm that creates the time on the vowel that we need in English to be understood. So we create a time on the vowel to create the rhythm of English. Yeah? We also use the colors and images to engage the visual brain. So you know if a word is a green T word, you can see that image and apply it to the sound of a word, like green T teacher, right? We also then engage the musical part of the brain, not so much by singing, but rather by using meaningful repetition to create rhythm. Meaningful repetition to create rhythm. Meaningful repetition to create rhythm. So this musical noticing is what we're going to work on today. And be sure you're ready to benefit the most from Blue Canoe. So let's get started with Blue Canoe. You'll create your account based on your email address, and then you'll learn and practice with the activities in today's plan. So you have word level games and sentence level games in Blue Canoe. The word level game that we start with is Color It Out. Color It Out is a card game where you will have cards and the computer has cards. And the goal is to run out of cards first. But rather than just playing a card, you're going to speak your turn. So if you look here at the cards, we're going to make a color match. For example, gray day documentation and gray day paper. When you take your turn, you'll swipe it up and you'll be faced with this moment of play. Press help me say my turn to hear your turn and you'll be able to practice as many times as you want. Gray day paper, gray day documentation. This is a time to use the hand and every time you see the underlined letter or letters, that's when you open your hand. Gray day paper, gray day documentation. When you've practiced enough and feel ready, you then can record yourself for your turn. The machine learning will listen with the voice recognition and we will give you feedback about the location of stress, the vowel that we need to hear, as well as any other errors that we hear, whether it be a consonant error or some other kind of pronunciation mistake. Our sentence level practice is even more exciting. You can look for topics that you're interested in or you can go from your daily play menu. When you look at a topic, you'll find subtopics. And in each of those subtopics is a lesson of six sentences. You want to complete all six sentences to receive credit for your play. Inside of a topic, you'll find a full sentence that looks something like this. We're delighted that the project is done. So before you record, spend some time using the hints, which are the visual symbols you see here, as well as listening to the sentence. You can practice with the sentence. You can click on each of the icons to hear the key words. White tie delighted, olive sock project, a cup of mustard done. And then you can record. When you record, you'll speak into your phone and then you'll receive feedback. So for example, if I'm the learner and I said, uh, we're derided that the project is done. I have a few errors in the way that I spoke. And you can see immediately that the highlighted areas have feedback waiting for you. And when you tap on these images, you will get more information about what you can do to improve. Let's look at that more closely. You receive a score for each sentence you say. And then as you tap on each symbol, you'll get that feedback. In this case, I said derided. So it gave me the feedback. I'm hearing an R sound instead of an L sound. Try touching the tip of your tongue to the back of your top teeth. So we get that specific instruction about how to make the L sound instead of the R sound. The other feedback we see here is a color vowel piece of feedback on the word done. Remember that I said don't. And so the feedback I received says, this is a cup of mustard uh word. I hear you using rose boat o. Oh. And so I received that correction to help me understand that done is uh done and not oh 
stone. Don't forget to use your open hand. This is what helps your musical brain be engaged along with your body. So when you practice, you'll have opportunities to repeat maybe two or three times, and that creates the musical noticing. Try it with me. We're delighted that the project is done. 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 Da 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 da. There's that rhythm again. So you start to adopt the rhythm of English by using the hand to cue yourself to speak with that unique rhythm. Sort it out as a game for noisy places. So when you don't have the right setting for talking and recording, you can play this game. This is a sorting game where you're going to swipe with your hand. Each word will go into one category or the other. In this case, we have green tea E and blue moon O as the two categories. As you work with each word, you'll say it to yourself, breezy, breezy. Okay, green tea, and you swipe it down to categorize it. You'll find that as the levels go up, the words become more complex and the rate becomes faster. So they fall through the sky faster and you're aiming to get them all in their place before they fall through the clouds. Your profile is a way to check your progress. You can see that you've met your daily goal and that you're meeting your goal every day. You can also see your progress as you improve. Pronunciation improvement with Blue Canoe is in the palm of your hand. And when I say that, it means that you're actually going to hold your phone in one hand and use your hand with the other hand to mark the stress of words and phrases. So it's a little different than anything you've done before. But if you follow these strategies, you'll find that it's very effective for not just producing the right sound in the moment, but to really making important changes in your speech habits. The images show the expected sound, right? The open hand creates that time that we need on the vowel. That's unique to English is the time on the vowel so that we can hear the word we, the way we expect. Playing daily forms these new pathways in the brain so that you have habits that are forming for positive pronunciation. A successful workout is 10 minutes per day. By following the day's plan, you'll be told when you meet your goal, you'll receive this notification saying, nice one, you've met your daily goal. The open hand will continue to be so important. So please remember to keep both hands free as you play so that you can make blue moon improvement. Okay. You'll learn more with my videos that are also in Blue Canoe. You can learn about the stress-based English pronunciation that we're teaching you. You can learn about individual vowel sounds. You can learn about consonant sounds. So get started now and know that you can always reach us at Blue Canoe by going to feedback at bluecanoelearning.com or go to our website at bluecanoelearning.com. Again, I'm Karen. I look forward to working with you and teaching you and hearing from you as you get started with Blue Canoe. Thanks so much.